So I did a webinar the other day and I wanted to make this training for you because I want you to have this training, especially if you're a man that's filled out an application to have an interview, to join this Champion Army Brotherhood that we have. This army of men that are all committed to live this win it all lifestyle that we call the Champion's Way, right? And one of the things that I went over with the men in this webinar was as you take a man, a modern champion man in today's marketplace and you begin to ask them, what is it that you want, bro? What is it that you want from your life? Because I find that over time when I really dig deep down into a successful male entrepreneur, a businessman, a leader, a, a sales executive, somebody who's in charge of his own destiny, that's running his own thing. One of the biggest challenges he has is his marriage, his relationship the connection and the peace that he's looking for that has to start at home while he wages war in the marketplace to win it all in his business. When he gets home, he's looking for peace. He's looking to be appreciated, to be loved, to be loved and approved. That usually follows with, let's say, sex with his wife, the connection that he can only get from the woman that he really wants and sometimes that's lost. So when I talk to most men and I ask them like, bro, where are you right now? Where are you right now? And where is it that you want to go in this life? That man is typically stuck in the middle because he's living from a life of pure and utter fucking confusion. That confusion causes him to question everything that he believes to be true. So maybe right now his marriage and his relationship isn't what he wants, right? But when I talk to him, I go, dude, so what do you want? If right here, this unhappiness, this empty pit that you feel, wanting to be where you want to be at in your life is not where you want to be, then what is it that you want? That response is always some confused, weird description of what he thinks that he wants, but he feels like he can't have because maybe he's been conditioned to believe that that life doesn't exist for him. So while he may be making money in his business, whether it's millions of dollars or $50,000, whatever it is, he's in charge. This piece that he's looking for to bridge the gap of what it feels like to be a man, he can't find. And he doesn't know how to describe it. And when I understand that by, the, all the, by all the men that I've been able to talk to, that confusion also creates this man to be in this reactive state of his world. Because everything that comes in from him, when he, because he can't find the peace, the love, the appreciation that, that he really wants and desires at home, while he may succeed in business and he may want to grow his business and he may want to excel in business, he can't find the power in himself outside of business to continue to move forward. So everything that comes into this man, he's fucking reacting. If he has an argument at home, he reacts to it. And most of the time, if you're a man like us, if you're a champion-minded man, you probably have a couple of different emotions in you, right? You get pissed off and you fly off the fucking handle, or you cower, you regress, you do nothing, and you watch it all come down, and then when you do react to it, sometimes it goes all the other way, where you just burst into tears, you have nothing to offer, and you wonder why the world is coming in on you. Turn into a fucking total victim. And that's tough, man. That's tough for a guy like us, right? Because we, we don't know what to do. So within those reactions, unfortunately, we begin to destroy shit. We begin to destroy our marriage. Our business starts to tank. We stop making money that we want to. We stop spending the time that we want to with our kids. So even while we may spend time, it's not quality time. It's not what we thought we were going to be experiencing as men, as fathers, as dads, especially when we looked at our own upbringing to want to be better dads and have a better experience with our kids than we had, even if we had a great one. So within destroying those relationships at home, destroying our marriage, then we start to take a look at our business and we really stop giving a shit. We stop trying to make the money. We're like, dude, none of this matters. I don't even care about that. I thought this was going to make me happy. And then now I look around at my marriage and I thought this was going to make me happy and I'm not happy. I'm not able to make them happy. So who am I now as this man? And within the pain of destroying all of our relationships, destroying the businesses that we built, especially coming off being successful, we fear because we can't go out into the world and tell anybody how we feel because everyone's looking up to us. So we lie. We lie to them, we lie to ourselves, we pretend that everything's fucking okay, and then we begin to numb the pain of our lives rather than just fucking deal with those truths and tell the truth to ourselves and to other people, and we numb that pain how? For some men it's drinking, for some men it's smoking, for some men it's Maybe leaning into your business, making more, maybe dabbling into other things, chasing every fucking other shiny object out there. Some men is porn, some men cheat, some men it's adultery, some men it's, it's, it's working out more, some men do anything to take that edge off rather than just deal with the real fucking problem of their true confusion in their life, wanting more and choosing it for themselves and for the families that they really give a shit about. Because that darkness, that pain, that fucking shit that's got you tangled up in your mind and confused about who you are as a man 
has now got you trapped. We call that a pit of hell. What is the pit of hell that you are in? For most men, typically, there's three. The pit of hell in your marriage, the pit of hell of feeling stuck in your relationship with your wife. Typically, it's our wives, right? No man wants to lose his children. But usually the connective piece that we feel in our household is usually to the other adult there, our wives, our partners, right? That's one pit of hell, our marriage. The other pit of hell typically comes in our business. That's usually a response based on the lack of love and attention and the receivership that we want to feel in our relationships and in our marriage. And that trickles over into the way that we function. Let's face it, we're champion men. We understand how to fight that fight that we want to fight out there in the marketplace to make more money, to build this business driven by our fucking purpose. But our purpose typically as men is to provide for our wives, for our kids. And when we lose that ability to feel wanted there, our drive that drove us in this side in our business to make more money and to grind it out starts to wane. It starts to go away. We begin to question, why am I doing this? Is this for fucking nothing to get to the top and cross the finish line without my family, without my wife, without my kids? Is that really worth it for me? And that last pit of hell that most men find themselves in, which is usually just a result of the other ones being stuck in there, is the pit of mind that surfaces for us inside of our own minds. That lack of who we are, that loss of identity. Who am I now? You see, I know that to be true for myself because when I had problems in my marriage, it made me question who I was as a man because my identity was that I was a husband. Facing divorce now, I wasn't going to be a husband anymore. Facing divorce now, I wasn't going to be a dad anymore because my thought process behind that was I wasn't going to be able to see my kids all the time. So I've lost that too. And within wanting to be this man that was a great husband and a great father now, that pit of hell exposed also the problems that were surfacing in my business. Or the problems that surfaced in my business exposed the problems I was having in my marriage. And out of all of those pits of hell that drove me down into a deeper fucking pit was who am I? It made me question me. Unfortunately, when you have men out there who are questioning themselves, it brings us back to the beginning of this conversation. Like I said, we're in a state of confusion and a man that is confused becomes destructive. A man that is destructive is reacting to everything that comes into his fucking world. And at some point, without dealing with the confusion, without dealing with us, we fail everything around us. And what do we do? We burn everything to the fucking ground. We drink, we smoke, we party, we fuck, we do all this other stuff. We numb out that pain rather than taking a hard look at ourselves and seek the power that we need inside of ourselves to fix this. And unfortunately, we are raised and we have these stories and these beliefs about who we are and who we can or cannot be. And that also keeps us trapped. Men are out there dying in the world because those same stories have stopped them from achieving the life that they wanted to or has driven them so far into the life that they wanted, that they're beginning to lose the people that they care about. There's two types of that. I've been in both. Some of the men that would apply for champion that want help, that are seeking power right now to win it all in their business, to win it all in their marriages, to win it all in their bodies, to win it all in their beings for their purpose, for who they believe. They're coming from that place too. They're seeking power. But I'm not talking about the shit, that hokey personal development shit that you find out there where you have people holding hands in seminars and jumping up and down and singing and still leave as a man like us feeling powerless because all of that shit didn't solve anything for us. That's not who we are. We're champions. We're warriors. We're men that see the world from a different perspective. And seeking power like that in a place that forces us to drive that, the uniqueness about who we are down deeper and make us feel wrong for wanting those things, for being that person as a man, also confuses us just the more. So now we've went to these things, we've searched, we went to church, we went to seminars, we went to personal development classes, we went to marriage retreats, we went to counseling, we've done all this shit and all it really does is drive in those stories about who we are, what we can do and what we can do even deeper. And we leave even more confused, more in pain, and we do whatever we can to take that pain away. It isn't until you make a decision once and for all that the power that you're seeking outside of yourself cannot be found there. It has to be found inside of you and you got to find that power for you, for yourself, with other men who understand that. Because I can tell you that journey, nine times out of ten, all the men, if you're one of these men, you understand what it means to go on that journey and to face these pits of hell that you're in, whether it's in your marriage, whether it's in your business, whether it's in, your, in yourself, to face those pits alone. That is the most loneliest, darkest fucking road you can ever be on. I've been on that road and I came out of the other side, which is why I created the Champion's Way. 
Initially, the champion's way, for what I call the champion's way, was my own personal concept to rebuild who I was as a man so I can put my marriage and my business back on track. And it became a way that I started sharing with other men and they started succeeding too. So within this conversation that I typically have with men, be it on webinars, other trainings, it's more about getting them to understand who they are as men and that there's nothing wrong with you and where you are in your life, that confusion that you feel and the destruction that you may be going through and the choice to numb the pain rather than fucking look at the truth of who you are and choose once and for all to be real is not a road that you're on by yourself, even though it may feel like it. I've been there. Other brothers that's come to this academy have been there. I will continue to help other men like you join this brotherhood so you don't have to make those fights alone. Initially, when I started the Champions Way, this had nothing to fucking do with somebody else. It wasn't a marketing plan. It wasn't a program for other people. This was about me and my family putting my life back together as a man. Not some random dude who just wants to hold hands and sing and join the fucking club. I wanted to do something because I'm a fucking warrior guy. I didn't want to just hold hands and sing. I wanted to run and charge the hill. I wanted to go against the status quo, but I wanted to be me still. That didn't start until I started living by a standard. Like we say here, live the fucking standard. We live the standard. That standard is be real. Tell the fucking truth. Tell the truth to yourself about where you are and what is not working, your needs, goals, and desires. What is it that you want for you and your wife, your kids? Fight for them. Fight for the thing that is you. And I promise you, you will find the power that you need to go where you want to go. And that's what we help men do here. Now, what does this mean to you? What does this mean to you? If you don't do something, you will continue to hold your family hostage because the only thing that will save your family, save your marriage, save all the things that you are in charge of in your fucking life is you. If not, you will hold them hostage and they will die there because you choose to not fight for the power that's inside of you. Now, if you need help with that stuff, coming to Champion is the way to fucking do that, period. There is nothing like Champion. This is the experience that allows you to finally see who you really are. This is a mirror. Now, can we do the fucking work for you? No, this isn't a place that we have chosen to take another man's burden off of his back. This is the place to strengthen the man so he is strong enough to deal with his own burdens when he's real and he's fucking relentless and he's committed beyond the, po the point of co commitment to getting results for himself and for his family and for his business. That's the man that we're looking for. That is the power that we help men achieve here. And if you're looking for that power in yourself, this is the place. And I can promise you right now, if you don't do anything, nothing will fucking change. What is it going to cost you? It will cost you your family. It will cost you your wife and your kids. It will cost you everything you've built up into this day because you choose to not be who you, who you know that you are. And who's that? That's the champion man that I can recognize that you can be. And how do I know that is because you're watching this training. You're watching this video. This fucking matters. Men are sheep to the slaughter out there in the world right now. So society is crucifying men for wanting to be men for choosing their families first, for choosing their businesses first, for saying what they will and won't do and owning that power. Will you be one of those guys that chooses once and for all to fucking fight that? If you don't do it, your family will stay hostage. You'll lose, you'll lose them. You don't do it, your business will stay hostage. You'll lose them. And who's holding them hostage? You are. All right. Go to championarmy.com and or go to applyforchampion.com. Fill out the application there. We are not some guy, some group that just takes any man into this brotherhood. If you're out there fighting alone and you're fucking tired of it, fill out the application. Let's set aside some time for you and I or you and one of my team to talk. Let's find out if and how this can be a fit for you. If it's a fit, I'll invite you on board. If it's not, then we know that. You have to choose to fucking do something if it's nothing more than having a conversation and finding out exactly where you are with some men who are going to be okay with you finally being okay with you. This is it. Go to championarmy.com. I'm looking forward to having that conversation with you. If not, take a look at your life. It is, if it's exactly what you wanted, <laughs> fucking congratulations. If it's not, it's time to do something about it. This is it. Wage war.